Okay, over six months ago, I uh, published a video about how to uh, find computers that are missing from your network. My particular situation, here you have three computers that are currently turned on, and they should show up uh, on my local network, but they weren't. So I published a video on how to fix that last year in 2018, but things have changed, and there's another configuration that you need to do besides those in order maybe to get your systems to show up, and we'll cover both here today. Now we need to look at the services Windows is running, so we're just going to go down here in the search box, type in services, even just starting the first couple letters, you should see the services utility uh, show up. Now all you're going to do is hit enter to launch the utility, and it'll show you all the services that are running in your system. And we're going to scroll down here until we get to the Fs. Here you should see two services, Function Discovery Provider Host and Function Discovery Resource Publication. Both should be running. If they're set for manual and they're not running, you need to change them to automatic on the first one and automatic trigger start on the second. To do that, just double click on it and you'll see a drop down here which you can select the proper setting. And then after you're done with that, you simply click on the OK button, not to cancel, but the OK button at the bottom. Now the next part should be okay already, especially if you've been sharing network stuff already. But you should go to your network uh, settings under the Network and Sharing Center and make sure that your sharing options for each of your uh, profiles, private or guest or even all networks, is set up to turn on uh, password protected sharing to make sure that uh, you can see all things across the network if you give the right credentials. Now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to type in control down here for control panel and fire up the good old control panel. And we're going to go over to programs and we're going to talk about turning on a Windows feature on or off. So if we click on this, it may actually take a while for this to populate, but we're going to scroll down until we get to a section called SMB. There's two settings there. Now SMB is Simple Guest Sharing Protocol for Discovering Devices. And it changes depending upon how old your system is. But you're probably going to find this with some of these enabled, specifically this one about automatic removal. Uh, you want to turn that one off if you're having a problem. So you're going to have to play with these depending upon the age of the systems in your network and whether or not you need access to a network storage device. But for the most part, we're going to turn on the SMB Direct and turn off the other one. You should start seeing stuff populate pretty quickly after it gets installed. So this might be set up already, but you need to go from wherever you're sharing from and make sure the rights are correct. Now I put a new share out here called data on my entire D drive on my uh, laptop just to show how to set this up. So if we go over here to data, we're going to want to go ahead and right click on it and select properties. And we'll go over here and we're going to go to the sharing tab uh, to take a look at the sharing. And it's, not, it's shared. But we're going to go to Advanced Sharing, and then we're going to go down here to Permissions. And you'll notice that Full Controller Change, the only thing I can do right here is Read Only. So I can't replace the file, I can't uh, copy over, delete it, whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Full Control and Change. Now this is for everyone I have it set up for, but you make the decision on who you want to access it and what rights they have. Click on OK, click on OK again, and then Close. And now you should be ready to go ahead and overwrite, you know, share files, find systems on your network. All that should be working for you in Windows 10 in 2019. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.